Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody, praise the Lord. This is me, Apostle Esther Sanctius. I want to thank you for joining me today, for sharing, liking, and subscribing. First and foremost, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers, to all of my new viewers. I tell you, you have just really, really, really blessed my heart. You have blessed my life. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for chiming in. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, God bless you. So we are super, super, super excited um, to see what God is doing uh, through this video ministry. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of my new viewers, all of my new subscribers, uh, and all of you that are sharing and liking my videos. Thank you so, so, so very much. Um, it's great to be back with you uh, on today. Uh, we're going to share some scriptures on peace. Uh, I know all of us need peace in our lives. And as I was uh, just meditating this morning, um, I just really felt led to share uh, some scriptures on peace. So that's what we're going to be sharing today. Um, just scriptures on peace. And I pray that it will bless your life as much as it has blessed my life. So we're sowing the seed of the word uh, into your lives, into your hearts, your minds, and your souls. The Bible says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I pray that as you hear these scriptures, as you hear these passages today, um, that they will bless you, uh, that they will just uh, encourage you to go forth and maintain your peace. Um, sometimes we just have to take ownership of our peace. I said earlier uh, in the year, whatever you do, hold on to your peace. Sometimes we have to, to just, you know, we just have to just dominate our place of peace and hold on to our place of peace. Um, of course, you see that uh, Mercedes is peeking in on the video. So I'm going to try and get her calmed down so that we can focus on what we need to focus on today. And that is maintaining our peace. We're going to be right back. God bless you. As promised, we are back. Um, got that situation settled down with Mercedes, hope, hopefully. So we want to go ahead and get right into the word of the Lord. Um, as I forestated, we want to talk about peace. Um, so many things are happening in our lives, happening in the world, happening in our government. Um, things just come to truly come to challenge our peace. We can be having a perfect day, one of worship, one of praise, one of honor, and something can come and try and upset our day. So I, I just want to remind you, I want to remind you that it is important as believers that we hold on to our peace, that we maintain our peace, that we take ownership of our peace. The Bible talks about peace and the biblical meaning of peace is that we have total completeness, we have success, we have fulfillment, wholeness, harmony, security, and well-being. So when we think about the word peace, it really talks about our entire life. Whole, complete, nothing missing and nothing broken, where we're in a harmonious place of security and well-being that we understand that we need to be com complete. We need to have a successful life. We need to be fulfilled. We need to be happy walking in our place of peace. A lot of times when we hear, hear the word peace, we hear the Greek word shalom, meaning peace, or he's Jehovah Shalom, the Lord God, our peace. So the ultimate peace giver is Jesus Christ himself. And so it is a gift that has been given to us given to us so that we can abide, that we can 
remain in a place of peace. It is an established covenant that is ordained by God from the foundation, from the creation of the world. And so it's up to us to stay in that realm where chaos is not allowed to enter. Uh, that chaos could be uh, sickness, it could be war, it, should, it could be strife, it could be violation of the covenant, it could be envy, it could be jealousy, anything that causes you not to feel that you're complete uh, in Christ. So we need to begin to recognize, identify, and we need to expose. The scripture tells us to abide in peace, to ask in peace, to go in peace, to abide in peace. So it is up to us to take ownership of the peace concerning our lives. So I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you on a day. Take ownership of your peace. Take your place of peace. Uh, we did um, a video earlier and we were talking about that when we're in peace with God, it positions us to prosper with God. It allows God to, to operate through us, to flow through us. So it's important um, that we abide in a place of peace. Um, Isaiah 26 and 3 out of the King James translation says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. So it is important when we're maintaining our peace to keep our mind stayed on God, to keep our mind stayed on heavenly things, to keep our mind stayed and focused in the word of God. Um, and when we have the word of God abiding in our life, then we can speak the word of God. We can declare as Mark 4 and 39 says, peace be still. I don't know about you, but I've been in a place in my life where I've had to speak into my atmosphere. Peace be still. And I tell you, everything that's chaotic aligns itself with the word of God because I'm speaking from a place of authority. I'm speaking from a place of victory. Peace be still. I've learned even in this Christian walk that we don't even necessarily have to speak loud. We can just speak from a place of authority and we can know that peace will conform itself to the word of God. So I want to encourage you on the day to be still and know that he is God. The Bible says in Psalm 46 and 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Why? Because peace abides in my earth realm. John 14 and 27 says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So we have no reason to let our hearts be troubled, nor let trouble be in our hearts. I think I said that on a video before, and I'm coming back to this to remind us, don't let trouble be in your heart, but hold on to the gift of peace that we can move forward in the things of God. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let our request be made known unto God. So whatever you need God to do concerning your life to settle the chaos, to settle the confusion, I speak by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ on today. Peace. Be still. Peace. Be still in every situation, every circumstance. Peace, be still. Thank you for so much for joining me. I am simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ that loves doing what I do for him. I thank God for affording me and allowing me the opportunity to be able to come on and share in the good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am Apostle Esther Sanctius. I celebrate this day of peace. I celebrate this day of victory. Um, God has just blessed and I just give him praise. I give him glory and I give him honor. 
I celebrate the Lord for all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. And you know, this is something that I've learned even in this video ministry is that I had to allow peace to rule and reign in my life. Settle down, calm down, let God do it. Peace be still. Peace come over, watch over my soul and watch God do what he's doing. So thank you again for subscribing, sharing, and liking. If you have a problem, remember we have a promise and that is through the word of the Lord. Thank you again for joining me. I will be back with more videos to inspire, to motivate, and to encourage you. Whatever you do, hold on to your peace. Take ownership of your peace. Don't allow anything or anyone to come in your peaceful place or your peaceful place. Your peaceful place or your peaceful space. I speak peace in the midst of every storm. Father, I thank you for every listener that's under the sound of my voice. I declare and I decrease the spirit of peace to rule and reign in our lives. I thank you, Lord God, that this is a peaceful place, that you are Jehovah Shalom. You are the Lord God that gives us peace and you cause peace to be in our lives. Now, Father, you be magnified, you be glorified, and we will forever give you the praise. We will forever give you the glory and the honor. It is in Jesus' matchless name, we declare and we decree it to be so. Amen and amen. Again, I am Apostle Esther. Thank you so much for sharing, liking, and subscribing. And remember, have an amazing day. God bless you.